If you're an athlete or a lifter of any sort, recreational or professional, and you haven't stocked up on your supplements yet, do it now. Because I'm here to tell you, it's about to go down. We're going to talk about it today in today's deep dive. And before we get started, hit the subscribe button. Come on. You know you want to. Join the galaxy. Where else are you going to shine as bright as this? All right, let's go. Let's get into this video. And you know what? It's probably good to make this crystal clear. Yes, I do work for Popeyes. No, they do not pay for any of the stuff I do here on this channel. And as a result, I have the freedom to say whatever I please. Of course, I'm not bashing the company in any way, shape, or form. Great company. Love working for them. But this is all me. It has nothing to do with them. And I don't even get paid on commission. So it's not like I get paid just because you bought something from them. So there's no conflict of interest here. Don't even try that. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to 7 Star Fitness. My name is Keegan and today we are doing a deep dive on a particular subject that has come to my attention in the fitness industry. Now this will be of interest to a lot of you out there because a lot of you out there are likely the kind of people who use supplements in one way, shape, or form. Whether it's protein, BCAAs, test boosters, uh, even if it's just like a multivitamin or creatine, which, you know, very popular supplement out there for a lot of lifters you're gonna want to hear this because it has to do with the cost associated with you getting your supplements there's about to be a massive price hike in supplements now I don't want you to panic about it or anything but I would definitely suggest you do something about that today we're gonna kind of talk about why it's happened why I think it's coming down the line and kind of how I feel it's one of those things that I could pretty easily prove or at least say is a highly logical possibility. Now, thanks to the virus that shall not be named due to demonetization and other issues you do would love, probably love to throw at me should I speak its name. If you were able to get plastic, steel, any of the components that may be necessary for the production of your particular uh, tub of protein or supplement in any way, shape, or form. Before, easily, a lot of that's been disrupted. Supply chains just sort of across the board have been pretty significantly interrupted, if not broken at their foundations. Uh, I've heard of a couple of supplement companies who had products that they want to launch and they just can't launch them because they don't have the plastic in order to create the tubs in order to put their product inside of it and then actually have it out on market. Um, I mean, there's, there's a lot of suppliers who have been chattering about the various increases in costs and things from materials to transportation. And these things are gonna start coming down the line sooner rather than later. Uh, uh, so that's one of the major things that's going to be worth considering when we're thinking about the possibility of this happening and why you should probably be concerned about it or at least have it on your radar. Now, for all of the people who are able to get those materials to you know, package up their products, create their products in the first place, they're probably going to be paying a bit a higher of a price for the actual materials in order to do so just because, hey, when supply is lower and demand is either the same or higher, Prices tend to skyrocket, it's sort of the beauty of capitalism, really. Uh, so you kind of have to think of the fact that that's going to be a major influencer on what happens to the price of the product that the consumer gets at the end of the road because all those costs have to get passed down at some point in time. The company can't just eat all of them because it eats into the profit margins and then you have a bunch of companies just sort of folding on themselves in response to rising costs and uh, the inability to pay their, their workers properly. Properly, and that could be a huge problem. The next piece worth considering is inflation. Probably something you've heard generally mentioned or pretty consistently mentioned in the news uh, on in recent months and recent weeks. Uh, now that the economy is starting back up again, uh, there's a lot of talk about how inflation is going to impact the overall price of everything and you know the just the cost of living for most people. Uh, 
from what I've heard, there is talk about it being transient inflation, but a lot of people are not really expecting it to stay so transient. It's probably going to spike and stay high for a significant period if go down at all. Let's consider the fact that with that peak in inflation and the rise in prices, the chances of a company trying to step back in response to inflation, even if it does come down, coming down and lowering those prices, chances are that's not going to happen. And if it does, it'd be kind of a miracle, but I don't expect that to happen. Again, capitalism, wonderful thing where people who are making money don't tend to want to make less money. So chances are when things go up, they're not going to ever want to come back down again if they do it all. So I expect that whether the inflation is transient or not, there is likely going to be an increase in costs that will not go away, especially if the manufacturers of these various supplements can surmise that you're willing to pay for it because you want it bad enough. The last piece here is interestingly enough one that is only specifically related at least in terms of what I can what I've heard directly uh, to one particular country and one particular supplement and that is China and creatine. Now they don't seem super related at this particular point in time, but allow me to take you down a little bit of a road here. With China's economy getting stronger and stronger by the year, there has been a very rapid growth of the middle class. This rapid growth of the middle class has led to a significant number of people with more money and as a result, more time to spend on leisurely activities. With that happening, we have a huge number of growing number of people who are interested in fitness and as a result, interested in the one supplement on the market that has the most research to back it and the most positive research uh, to back it at that. Creatine being as effective as it is for athletic performance and the overall progress of, of somebody who's especially going into this sort of recreational lifting or even for someone who's doing it on a more professional level there is no doubt that it's something that can be very well used and will be a huge benefit to them throughout their fitness journey and all of those individuals in that growing chinese middle class know this so there's going to be a massive rise in demand for creatine and in response to that a much lower supply and in response to that a much higher cost so that's definitely one supplement that's going to be worth stockpiling on now because it'll last for a really long time and it's cheap now as it is. So you're probably going to be much better off having a stockpile of it that you can make use of for however long into the future and not really having to worry about re-upping at any point in time soon so that when the price hike happens, you can sit back and kind of laugh at the fact that the hike happened in the first place. Hell, maybe there's some people out there who are looking to make a little money, buy a couple extra tubs, keep them in the back, and then sell them for a profit once things do end up spiking. You can come in under the cost of the market and still make yourself a nice pretty penny on it. I'm not quite sure exactly what the spike is going to be, but I have this feeling it's not going to be anything that a lot of us will be happy with. That being said, I don't think it's going to stop at creatine because what was the last time you saw any fitness enthusiast stop or, or only have creatine as a supplement that they're taking? Chances are it's going to fall to a large number of supplements. I think a lot of the lifters out there in general are going to want to take advantage of the reasonable costs that are existing now before things get a little wild. Uh, if you're looking for any evidence of the fact that this is even happening, I'd say look no further than All Max. If I remember correctly, they've already hiked their prices by, what was it, 10 bucks, 15 bucks for their tubs. So they've already started the march. I don't think it's going to be long before others follow suit. Anyhow, uh, that does it for this video. Figured I'd keep it short and sweet, just something a little poppy, some information, some news so you guys can stay abreast of what's going on in the fitness industry and hopefully use this information to make a choice for yourself to, you know, maybe re-up now if you're already getting close or hell, if you're thinking maybe I should or I don't even need to, but it might be nice to have it, you know, in reserve for when this day comes. Make your decisions now. Go ahead and grab your stuff. Uh, so... Hopefully this information is helpful. Maybe you found it entertaining. Uh, maybe you found it engaging. 
whatever the case may be, go ahead and throw a comment below the video. Uh, of course, hit the like button and hit the subscribe and the bell so you can be notified of all our future content. Uh, I've always got cool stuff lined up. And of course, you guys can engage with me directly via not only these videos, but also my social media, which will be in the description below the video. Uh, and tell me what you guys want to see. I can kind of tailor the content to what you guys really hope to see and want to know about. Of course, like I said, my social media will be underneath the video in the description. So follow me on Instagram, check me out on Facebook, check out my website. I'm also on Twitter. I'm pretty sure I have it on there somewhere. Also in the end card, I think. Uh, so check me out on those platforms. Go ahead and uh, we can have a conversation there. And of course, join the galaxy. Be another one of us out here doing everything we can day by day to be better tomorrow than we were yesterday, even if it's just by that much. And that is more than enough. And of course, stay shining. The galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place if we all shine together. Peace.